Lego has made some absolutely incredible Star Wars sets in the past. We've got incredibly unique ones like the May the 4th promos, special edition print runs for Comic Con, and whatever this garbage was. But today, Republic Bricks has sent me a package filled to the brim with custom Lego sets. Sets that unlike these, Lego has refused to make up until now. In addition to that, we're going to be taking pre-existing Lego sets and showing you how to turn them into entirely new sets. Thank you so much to RepublicBricks.com for sending me this care package right here. Link in the description below to his shop. If you use code DAILY, D-A-L-E-Y, you'll get a percent off your order. Highly recommend checking him out. Let's get into the video. Crab droids. That's right, crab droids from the Clone Wars. We have never seen Lego release a crab droid unit. Not even with the Lego ATTE, which felt like the perfect unit to give it to, considering it was based on Utapau. But luckily for us, even when Lego lacks, Republic Bricks comes through. By the way, I am going to be giving away everything that you see in this video from Republic Bricks, so stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how to enter into the giveaway. Let's crack this puppy open and get to building a crab droid from episode three. This is actually kind of cool. So you scan the QR code on this thing and then you get detailed instructions online, which saves some paper since there's quite a number of instructions. All right, let me go ahead and time lapse this build. And here we have it, the episode three crab droid. This thing is actually sick. Lego should genuinely make this, bro. It is really, really well done, fits together perfectly, and a pretty easy build too, pretty quick as well. This would be honestly perfect for a battle pack. But that's not all. We've also got ourselves the crab droid from the Clone Wars. So this is the one that was featured in episode three on Utapau, and this one is from the Clone Wars animated series. So they should be slightly different. And then once I've built this one, we're gonna make a little mock out of these two. I'm thinking a few 212th troopers all fighting against these crab droids like they did in episode three where they stood on top of them shooting down with DC 15 Cs. I think it would look absolutely incredible. So. Let's build this sucker and then get that mock done. There she blows, baby, the Clone Wars Crab Droid. It is very different from the Episode 3 Crab Droid. It's only got four legs as opposed to six, uh, but I still like this thing. I still think it looks pretty good, all things considered, but I do have to say the Episode 3 Crab Droid is just incredible. Like this is like the little baby droid, and then we got the big mama droid. I would honestly consider buying like 10 of these for my droid army. They're just that epic. But let's go ahead and combine the two and make a mini little mock against some 212 troopers before we get into the other custom Lego sets that Lego refuses to make. Since there's only two of these, it's going to be on this smaller base plate right here. And then I've got Commander Cody as well as some other 212th and 2nd Airborne troopers here as well as right here. And then we've got some B2 battle droids as well as some camouflaged B1 battle droids that we'll be adding. I'm thinking we're going to add some foliage across this thing, try and make some levels out of it. And I definitely want one clone trooper standing on top of this bad boy and firing into it. Let's build this thing. And here we have it, boys. Even though this is a smaller mock, I actually really like it. I, I'm pretty proud of this. So up top here, we have Commander Cody fighting against the Episode 3 Crab Droid from Republic Bricks. Then we've got a second Airborne Trooper and his dead comrade down there trying to deal with the Super Battle Droids that are down here as well as the Kashyyyk Droid. Then we've got right here the 212th Trooper who has taken down the other Crab Droid right there, just like in the movie. Obviously, this isn't Utapau, but I still think it looks pretty cool. Uh, just sort of gave the clones the high ground and then the droid army is sort of crawling towards them with crab droids and some other monsters. Okay, beyond that, why don't we go ahead and build the next custom Lego set we've got. The next one we have here is going to be an ARC 170. Now Lego has released an ARC 170, but not like this. This one is absolutely insane from the pictures I have seen. So we're gonna build this up. Once again, it's from Republic Bricks right here. And not only that, he also sent a number of different pilots for us to equip the ARC-170 with. We'll check these guys out after we build the whole shebang. Let's get into it. And 
And here it is, boys. Republic Bricks' version of the LEGO Arc 170, and this is incredible. Now, for some background about the Arc 170 from LEGO, it's set 8088, and it came out in 2010, the only Arc 170 they've ever released, and it was 13 years ago. Nowadays, to purchase it, it's about $600. You can buy it in used condition for a little bit less, but it's still a very expensive and sought after set. So it's pretty nice to have a pretty awesome custom version of it. It comes, of course, with the six wings that are all collapsible, like so. Of course, it's got the two massive engines right there, and then three seats, pilot, co-pilot, as well as a seat for the gunner in the back. It's, of course, got two massive laser cannons right here. Very epic. Oh, and an extra piece, yoink. And then we've got the three pilots. Let's check them out. Pilot number one, two, three. Okay, here is the first one. And these are all custom printed on authentic Lego with Clone Army Customs helmets. First boy here is really sick. I don't know if this is an actual clone or just a custom one, but it looks like a flaming clone P2 pilot, which is, I don't know, something very baller about that. He had too many flaming Hot Cheetos. Next up, we got this boy, which again, I'm not entirely sure if this is a named clone trooper or not. It, honestly, the, the style of green here, sort of the limey green, it could either be, I feel like Captain Locke's Horn Company. It could be Commander Dooms. It's definitely not the 41st Elite Corps green though. That is a far darker green. Either way, I like this dude a lot. He's looking pretty fresh. And then we've got our final clone right here. Again, I'm not really sure what company this guy is from. He's got sort of like little lightning bolts on him. I really like the colors on this guy. He is looking fresh to death, baby. Comment down below if you guys know these clones or if you think they're completely fictional clones. Either way, I think they look really nice. Let's toss them in the pilot seats. And there we have it, baby. These guys are all suited up within the ARC-170 right there, ready to fly this puppy around. Extremely sleek design. That's my bad. I... I should not have put all the weight on the bottom of it. Okay, there we go. After some minor repairs, as I was saying, extremely sleek design, looking absolutely schmexy. Republic Bricks outdone himself again. Now, for this, as well as this. That's right, I have two LEGO AAT tanks right here. And what I'm going to be doing is taking these two apart and then making an MTT out of both of them. LEGO hasn't released an MTT in years and also one of my favorite Star Wars vehicles of all time. So I have taken to the community and looked up how to make an MTT for yourself. And there are some fantastic tutorials. The one I'm going to be using is by Brycolor Bricks. And he gave me permission to showcase this in this video. So big shout out to him. Thank you so much. I'm gonna be following his instructions in this video in order to make these two AATs into MTTs. So let's get right on into it and Here's the finished product. Whew, and it's done, boys. This is the aftermath. I had to open a third AAT set because I realized one of the used sets I bought on eBay was missing parts. Yeah, so I had to open up one of my sealed ones. But that does mean we have three 332nd Troopers, the OGs without the helmet holes, and three Ahsokas. That's fun, I guess. But this thing was well worth it. Let's check it out. Seriously guys, this could be an actual Lego set. Go subscribe to Bry Color Bricks. He seriously deserves it and I highly recommend making this. There are multiple compartments in this puppy. First, we've got the front door here that you can lower. It's got a couple of weapons up here. Then you can pull out the rack of droids and it fits eight right there. Let's go ahead and push those guys back in for now. Let's keep tally of how many droids are in here. Then we can go to the top up this way and yoink this off and we've got our pilot droid right here. That's nine droids. If we go to the rear over this way, we pop this open. We've got four more weapons right there. Then we've also got an entire another rack of droids. That's six more droids and two more weapons, making 15 droids. Then you can go ahead and pop open this side hatch, revealing one more additional droid. You can go ahead and replace it just like that. And that makes, oopsie, I broke something off. <laughs> That makes a total of 16 droids. I actually have no idea where this piece went. Oh, it's right here. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> I was looking around, I was like, I am not finding where this was. But that's not the only secret compartments. There's also these ones down here that tilt down. Uh, so right here, we've got ourselves two more weapons. They kind of came unhinged, but that's okay. Then on the other side, you can lower this down. 
and it becomes a small command operating base. So this is truly a mobile troop transport plus commanding base. You can get a lot done with this MTT. This thing is an absolute beast. I highly recommend buying two AATs to build this. Plus, you get a bunch of droids with it, two Ahsokas, and two 332nd clones. That is not a bad deal, and it's a pretty fun and easy build. Some of the parts are a little bit fragile. It's not got that Lego polish to it, but honestly, it's fairly sturdy, all things considered. Well, guys, for today's video, we did a lot of building, and we visited a lot of different eras of the Clone Wars. We've got MTTs, we've got Crab Droids, and we've got ARC 170s, all amazing builds. I highly recommend checking out republicbricks.com. Use code DAILY if you want a discount and also Bry Color Bricks. Definitely check his channel out. For today's giveaway, I'm going to be giving away the two Crab Droids and the ARC 170 to you guys. All you gotta do is hit the like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below what Lego Star Wars vehicle you think Lego should make that they haven't yet, or an old Lego vehicle that they just need to revamp and make in the modern era. Real quick, I wanna thank the newest channel members, Brooke Morgan, Pokey Chu, and Valerie Lawson, as well as Amber Baca for continuing her membership. Thank you to all of my channel members. If you guys want to become channel members yourself, just click the join button next to the subscribe button or in the link in the description below and have your name shouted out in every video. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all in next week's video. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.